my name is Lexi. I also go by Link Sexy. And today I'm gonna show you how to use TTS as a channel point reactive image. I tried to make this method very easy as possible. So here we go. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Solrock. I have all the links in the description in order. You're gonna log in or create an account. Creating an account is simple, just use your Google account. Since we want this as a channel point only, we're gonna turn channel points on, resubs off, and bits off. And then for the channel point reward name, I'm naming mine TTS. When you scroll down, you don't have to do anything for max message length, but for blacklisted, you could blacklist words, voices, users, or voice effects. So I currently have the voice effect loud as blacklisted since that is pretty much like ear rape. After that, we'll come back to fallback voices. But for now, let's go set this up as, on our Twitch as a channel point redemption. Okay, go all the way to the right. Click your profile picture, then click creator dashboard. Now go to the left and go to viewer rewards, channel points, manage rewards and challenges. Scroll all the way down and add new custom reward. So for the custom reward, it has to be the same name that we put over here. So I named it TTS. So I'm going to name it TTS here. We're going to turn on require viewer to enter text and then enter the amount. I'm just putting it as one for this example, but you could put it whatever amount you want. You could put your pictures and set whatever color, but for right now, I'm just leaving it as is. Then click create. Once you created that, it should be uh, ready to go. And that's pretty much it for what you have to do in your Twitch. So now that that's done, we're gonna go to Uber Ducks and this is where they have the voices. Log in or create an account with your Google account. Click text to speech. Here's the voices. Uh, let's say you wanna blacklist the voice. Let's say we're gonna blacklist Twilight, Charlie Collins, whatever. You have to copy this name, but since you can't copy it here, you go up right here, copy the Char Charzy Collins, go back to the first, to the first page and put it as voice for blacklisted. So we're blacklisting his voice and then enter. If you want to hear a voice, then put an example. Hello. Synthesize. This might take a little bit because of synthesizing. And then you get to play it and hear it out. Oh. Oh. You could choose a fallback voice as well. So let me go back to the first page. My fallback voice is Alexa. So if nobody chooses a voice, then it just goes automatically to Alexa. But you could choose whatever you want. If you want Astrodin, then just copy the name up here. Put it as a fallback voice, Astrodin. But again, I'm putting it as Alexa. You could play around with this how you want, but you could just sort of leave it as is. Next thing you're going to want to do is download the plugin. Download the plugin, go to GitHub. We're going to download OBS Re Image Reaction by Ashmenik. Scroll down and click which one you need for your system. So I have Windows, so you can either get the installer or download the zip folders. If you want to download the installer, then download the installer and just go. It's going to say it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. So click up and say keep. I already have mine downloaded. Show in folder and double click it more info and then run anyways. So this is just gonna install it into OBS for you. If you don't want to install it as an installer, then you could download it as a zip folder. So let's say the installer does not work for you. Download the zip folder, open it up, and we're gonna set it inside our OBS folder. To find your OBS folder, go to your start menu, menu, type in OBS, right click obs and open file location okay once you have obs here i have mine to the right i'm gonna click it again and open file location and this and then this will take me to the program files we're gonna go back a little bit if you go to the top right here go back to obs studio we're gonna place all of these in their respected folder so obs plugins go to obs plugins so 
64 bit and then this. So we're going to download that to OBS plugin 64 bit and just place those in here. I already have mine set in here, but if it tells you, are you sure you want to plug it in here? You just say yes. Since the OBS plugin is done, we're going to do the data one. So let's go back data, data, OBS plugins again, and OBS plugin. And we're going to drop this folder into here. Once that's done, just close both. And if you want, you could open OBS to test it out to make sure you have it. Just open OBS, click right here, and you should see it as an image reaction. If you don't have it, then it wasn't properly installed. So those are the two methods to install it, either the installer or just dragging it into the properties folder. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to set it all up in OBS. So we're going to do TTS first, click the plus for sources, add a browser source. We're going to call this TTS. Go back to soul rock, scroll all the way down, open sensitive information in the bottom. Do not show this to anybody else. This is just for you. Click TTS overlay and copy that link. Paste the link into the web browser for OBS. Click on control audio via OBS. This allows the TT, uh, this allows you to control the audio. We need that for the, the reactive image. And then scroll a bit further down and click refresh browser when screen becomes active. This allows you to refresh it. If your TTS crashes, you just click off the eyelid and click it back on. Another thing you're going to do is go to audio mixer, click the buttons, the three buttons for TTS. Advanced audio properties. Change monitor off to monitor only mute output. Close. That's all you have to do for TTS. Next thing we're going to do is add reactive image. Click plus image reaction. Okay. Or name it whatever you want. Image when silence. The so image when silent. We're going to click the closed mouth. And then open mouth for when the sound goes on. Audio source will be TTS. Okay. All you have to do is test it now. To test it, go to your channel. Click the redeem point TTS. And click whatever you want. Enter. It might take a little bit because it has to synthesize, but once it synthesizes, it will do what it has to do. Hello. Hello, how was your day today? Mine was semi -oak. <laughs> And there you go. That's how you get a reactive image. That's pretty much it. If you have any issues, feel free to contact me on Discord, on here, Etsy, Kofi, wherever you like, and I'll help you however. I even go on a call with you if you need extra help because this is a bit difficult and I even had a difficult time setting it up, but I hope this helps. Thank you.